Another new exciting addition to Nginx is dynamic modules. As you may remember, one of the drawbacks we mentioned when comparing Nginx to Apache was the fact that modules need to be compiled during the Nginx installation. Well, as of version 1.9.11, Nginx has introduced dynamic modules. The feature is still far from that of Apache's dynamic modules, but it's a great starting point, and the plan is to expand this feature in the future, to match the flexibility of the module system used by Apache. To demonstrate, I've downloaded and extracted a copy of the latest Nginx mainline release. I'll change into that directory and then run configure with the help flag. Now, when we scroll up through these available modules, you'll notice that there's a few modules with equals dynamic at the end of the flag. These are the modules that currently support dynamic loading. They are still far and few, but this is still a very new feature and the list will grow with future updates. To list all the available dynamic modules, I'll run that same command again, but this time pipe it through grep and only match the word dynamic. And there you see a list of the available dynamic modules. To demonstrate, I'm going to use the image filter module. So I'll go ahead and copy that flag, clear this, and now configure Nginx with that flag with http underscore image underscore filter underscore module and then equals dynamic. Run that and we get an error. The image filter module requires the GD library. Of course, that would be to allow this module to manipulate images. I'll just install that with apt-get install libgd2 xpm dev, which is the required library on Ubuntu. Confirm that. And that's done. Let's try running that configuration again. And this time it finishes without any issues. Run make. And make install. And finally, I'll just start Nginx. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my Nginx configuration file, which is still in that default location of user slash local slash Nginx slash conf slash Nginx.conf. And I've removed everything from here, so we basically just have the default Nginx holding page being served on port 80. I'll reload Nginx, switch to my browser, and sure enough, we get that holding page. Back to my terminal, and if I list out the contents of that default Nginx vhost root directory, slash user, slash local, slash Nginx, slash HTML, you'll see that I've added an image directory, img, and inside a file called logo.png for purposes of demonstrating our image filter module. We can check that in the browser by going to slash image slash logo.png and we get that logo as expected. Now, to demonstrate the dynamic nature of the image filter module, I'm just going to apply one of these image filter directive options to the logo image. Back to the configuration file, I'll add a location block here for slash img slash logo.png and inside that simply say image filter and we'll use the resize option and then say 300 by 300, that's pixels. That should do. But if I now go to reload this configuration, we'll see an error. Unknown directive image filter. And that's because this module isn't loaded. When we compile Nginx with dynamic modules, a new directory is created inside of our main Nginx directory called modules. And inside this modules directory, we'll see the compiled dynamic modules. In our case, we see Nginx HTTP image filter module.so. And this is what we will have to specify in the Nginx configuration. We'll switch back to the Nginx configuration file and inside the main context, add the directive load underscore module and set that to modules slash ngx underscore http underscore image underscore filter underscore module dot so. 
Of course, we could set this to an absolute path as well, but paths inside the Nginx configuration is relative to the main Nginx directory. So all we need is a relative modules path. With that added, I'll reload the Nginx configuration again. And this time we have success. Head over to the browser, back to the logo image. And up here we can see that last time we loaded this image in its original form, the image was 500 by 500 pixels. This should be resized to the 300 by 300 pixels we specified in the logo.png location block. Reload this page and we get the 300 pixel resized version. So as you can see, this is a great addition to Nginx, which will allow us to minimize rebuilds as we can compile optional modules into Nginx without the overhead of always having to load those modules into memory.